What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I am doing some how do they feel spreads, and I'm going to do it in this elements. And of course, when I was starting to do who I should do, the Six of Pentacles showed up. So I guess we're starting with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this we're going to do um, three cards for how this person feels, three cards for how you feel, and then we'll get some advice. Um, the bottom of this is the Four of Earth. So someone's holding back, holding on. What is it? It's almost like someone just wants you guys to open up. That's what the message I get. But then you have the Eight of Water and a Seven of Fire. Someone, okay. <laughs> I feel like really indecisive um, energy with you guys because it's like, okay, you're holding on to this, right? You're not opening up, but you want to open up. Then you have the eight of water. So this is like either you leaving behind old things or old, leaving behind this person. But I just feel like some of you guys need to close this door when it comes to heartbreak, when it comes to being paranoid when it comes to thinking there's other people, people are out to get you, when it comes to old shit where people have done things behind their back, saying shit behind your back. Um, this is just time to let this shit go. You have the eight of cups coming out twice. And it's like, I know this is something that's like never far from your mind. Even though you want to forget, I think that a part of you guys want to forgive and forget somebody or forgive, period. It's like, it's like never far from your mind. And it's like something that maybe you still need to say to somebody and, um, Maybe you just feel like there's still some things like overall just not being said. But it's just like there's something that you don't want to learn. There's something that you don't want to know. There's something that you just don't want to fucking talk about. And it's like you're barred, completely shut with that. The two of earth, or the two of earth. <laughs> well, I mean, you could be juggling. This person has two birds, one um, that she's looking at, one on her other arm. And it's like, you know, this is a decision. Um... A very well-known decision by somebody in this um, because I see air I see fire mostly water um, some of you guys are dealing with water sign some of you guys are walking the fuck away from a water sign because you're just like bro um, I don't have nothing else to say to you some of you guys are trying to really hard to move on from a water sign this could be someone that you have children with could be someone that you still want to talk to you're having a hard time moving on from this person um, you do want to talk to them but it's like they're not talking to you. But I do see this message coming in and it's like maybe someone finally made the decision to choose to go forward with you. Or this is this person. I just feel like the way this card, the way this person is looking at this boat, it's like you kind of already know something or you feel like this is something that you already know. Um, with the Sun card, the Seven of Earth, and the Page of Fire, this is something you put a lot of time into. This is something that you already know the truth about, something that made you very happy. Or maybe this is about you kind of choosing happiness for yourself because, look, you know, I, I know what I want. I know what I want to do. Um, whatever it takes to get me to this happiness, um, fuck everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck your bitch and the click you claim, basically, you know what I mean, in the words of Tupac. Um... Y'all are just going for this happiness now. It's like part of you wants to talk. Part of you wants this situation to come together. But then part of you is like, well, this person chose somebody else. And I was standing here the whole time. And this could be the person you're dealing with. Vice versa. Because remember, this could be switched up. I mean, if you were to break this down, one person feels like they want you to talk more. They want you to actually make the effort to like come like the action, not just the thought to if you are dealing with more than one person to choose them. This person thinks that, you know, you're never going to open up. Um, you're they're kind of like emotionally pulling back or this is you. But then she's still looking over her shoulder, waiting for this person to talk to them. So it's like you guys both want to talk to each other. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it's like. You think they're on fuck shit. They think you're on fuck shit. There needs to be a conversation. Um, not only that, you have the high priestess with the four of fire. What's maybe unknown is someone's already in a relationship. Um, someone thinks about a relationship. I feel like someone already knows there's something going on in this. But at the same time, you're keeping your mouth closed about it. It's like... The king of water with the ace of 
the ace of water someone has feelings someone wants this new beginning but it's like you're waiting for this person to tell you how how they feel or maybe this is you like thinking about you know this i mean this person's laughing like maybe you guys um this person like makes you really happy and maybe like when you think about it like the action this person wants you to take is to kind of like to take this new opportunity to start something new someone could be having a baby someone could be pregnant some this could just be the overall memory of this situation i don't think someone's uh fuck someone got pregnant by um someone's knocked up in this situation okay earth signs i'm just gonna leave that alone and i'm not gonna continue with that the world card is um an ending, a new beginning, it's however you see it. But the three of air, it's like somebody has to walk away from somebody. Somebody doesn't even, like, it hurts them to even walk away from this person. But it's like, there's no other choice right now. Um, there's some other situation in the background. Or maybe this is like someone needing to walk away from you guys because... Even though they're still waiting for you, they still want to be with you. You're still focused on heartbreak from somebody else. So it's like there's really no room for them. Um, the Three of Earth, this talks about a conversation. This talks about a job opportunity. This talks about how well do you work with other people. I see someone lost a job. I see temptation here. Um, if y'all are fucking around with somebody at your job, I would recommend not doing that because you could lose your job. The Ten of Earth here. So if you don't give in to this temptation, don't mix business with pleasure, I see a lot of money coming in. But then you have the tower. It's going to be unexpected money coming in. But don't be fooled because everything that glitters isn't gold. The two of fire is like waiting. You're still kind of like, how do we bring this together? I want to be with you. You want to be with me. You know what I mean? How can we do this? How can we make this work? Fortune's wheel, baby. What y'all going to do? Y'all are like sitting on money you don't even know it. You guys could be getting international money. What y'all smuggling now? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to leave it alone. Page of Earth, some kind of idea you have about international, going international. Um, I'd say go for this. Something you've always wanted to do since you were little. Some of y'all, some of y'all hold more power than you even realize. You come from a, a powerful legacy um, that you don't know about. But it's written all over the stars. Um, the messenger of water. Maybe the way that you talk to someone makes them feel really slow and stupid. Like you make someone feel really small even though they have feelings for you. I'm not saying, I'm not like. <laughs> With the magician, be very careful how you're speaking to people. Be very careful um, how you're manifesting things. Because things are going to come in really fast. And you don't want them to be brought in with a temptation. You want them to be brought in for the right reasons. Or maybe it's time to take a break from something or maybe this is about you finding your happiness within yourself. See, the Buddha's happy. But this is about a spiritual journey. This is about enlightenment. This is about, um, why did I, sacred shower? I don't know why that came in my head. Sacred, sacred beginning. I don't know what that means. Um, the chariot card is moving forward. Um, this is taking your life, taking it by the reins, no matter what we've lost, no matter what we've done. And moving this bitch forward. A lot of y'all are still really focused on something that happened where someone cheated on you. That's coming through very, very clear. But when you focus, your focus becomes your reality. So what do you want to focus on? Should we focus on old shit? Should we focus on new shit? Because I see opportunities all around you, but it's like you don't care. The battle wagon, chariot. You need to move forward with something now. The king of pentacles in reverse before you lose money. Some of y'all might lose money. Something with your dad. Some of y'all could have just had a loss. Um, it's a home situation. Someone. And it's just like they're saying don't stop. Keep moving forward. Keep going. Keep going. I don't know how many times they're going to say that to me in my ear. But the Eight of Wands is. You're waiting on having a conversation with this person. Maybe you don't feel financially stable enough to offer something to this person. So you're not really sure how to move forward because it's not really making you any money right now. You're like, how do I go global if I'm not even pulling money in? But the universe is trying to tell you, like, you have the chariot twice. You need to move forward on this because 
you can't see this right now, but make if you're prepared in the right way, which I'm sure y'all y'all are prepared. Come on now, let's be honest. We know who the fuck we're playing with right now. Um, the world tree, this is about a spiritual um, awakening, beginning. Be prepared for whatever this is. Or just maybe um, open yourselves up to possibilities. I keep seeing heart chakra for y'all. You guys, this heart chakra is either blocked or you need to learn a lesson about what is actually evil or against you in this life because this is wisdom you guys are very wise when it comes to something but when it comes to relationships and feelings i'm not going to throw the shade i'm not going to throw there's no tea no shade but y'all's heart chakra and the way you think about relationships and feelings might be a little twisted right now and that might not be your fault it could be um circumstances the moon card in reverse you're going to have clarity about this relationship about this marriage um about these feelings is it love or lust um, Ten of Chalice is in reverse with the Moon card in reverse. Some of y'all know this shit's over with. It's like, you know, your vision of a happy family underneath a tree. Shut my door. Don't be a creep. Thank you. Mom. This whole thing is over with, and it's something that you already know about. And it's like, this is a scorned woman. Some of y'all are not a force to be reckoned with right now. But this talks about a compromise. If you truly want a compromise with somebody, it can happen. But it's like, you know that this tower, it's like you're avoiding something from happening. It's like you've tried to reconcile with this person. You've tried to make shit work. But it's not going to. It's like you're avoiding this ending because you, in the back of your mind, still think that this can work out. And I'm not saying that it won't. But for some of you, you're manifesting the wrong shit back into your life over and over again. And like thinking if this is, there's, if there's a new formula or if there's a new way to, no, bruh, there really isn't. I'm sorry. You can't fix this. You can't make it any better. Some of y'all money's going to be fucked up till you leave some people alone. I don't know how else to say that to you. Um, there's some healing that you're avoiding. There's some healing that you don't really want to talk about. Or maybe it's just time to do that. You know, the page of chalices is going to do, this is a new opportunity. Um, this could be a painting, expressing yourselves artistically, whatever that means to you. Um, could bring about some healing for you. Could bring about you manifesting things. Getting things moving in your life is when you start focusing on yourselves and your desires and what you want to do. If you've been doing too much of that, flip it and do the opposite, okay? Because some of y'all <clears throat> might be a little bit too focused on yourself because I'm getting both. Some of y'all have true love and reconciliation. But can you balance shit out? Can you make it work? Or maybe if there's someone that you truly love, there will be a reconciliation in the future. But it could be three years, three weeks, three months. Oh, we have separation. Someone you think about a lot and you want to talk to them. Someone you're very attracted to. That is your soulmate. Someone you can have fun with. Someone you can laugh and joke and blah, blah, blah. Some of y'all might have played too much if there's a baby involved. Ooh, just kidding. Just kidding. I have four kids and I'm no judgment. <clears throat> Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So some of you have a soulmate that you're attracted to, but they're waiting for you to make the effort. It's like... It's almost like y'all don't want it. <laughs> it's like they're trying to like be all lovey kissy on you and you're like, bro, I'm going to need you to back the fuck up. You know what I mean? Like, love yourself first, y'all. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, you know you know what time it is. That's This separation is going to stay in effect until you learn to love yourself correctly. The money situation might be a little bit fucked up too until you start to make the effort towards the things that you want to do, towards the things that you know that are for you, like this soulmate that's been on the table probably for a few minutes now, okay? Past life relationship. This is that deja vu, like you feel like you've known them forever, like how are we so much alike? Like I feel like I really have known you before. There was some deception here. Or is the deception that you're lying to yourself about this connection? Like, no, they're really not my soulmate. Ah, they're not that cute. Um, I'm not about to make the effort to do shit. Y'all can't make me do nothing. Well, love yourself first then. <laughs> Stay separated then. You know what I mean? Play with your... I was going to say play with yourself. See? Stop it. Stop it, Emily. Um, I don't know. Don't play with people's feelings and don't play about your own because if you truly have them, then why are we like acting like we don't give a fuck about nothing? You know what I mean? Let your friends help you. 
some of you guys have kids with someone or there's just kids involved where <laughs> one of your friends might be like, I love you. And you're going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know what I mean? Um, I want to have your baby. And you're going to be like, listen, I, I don't know what, but it's safe for you to love. You know, some of y'all might be getting engaged. Some of y'all, this person that needs to make the effort wants to get to know you. Or this person that wants you to make the effort wants to get to know you. I mean, pick your poison. You know what I'm saying? You might be very different from this person. So you're like, okay, well, this soulmate that I'm like waiting to come into my life, this is not what I fucking thought it was going to be like. You know what I mean? They fucking like the color purple. And I fucking hate the color purple. So this can't be my soulmate looking asses. You know I love you though. Um, I couldn't stay gone for too long. I got I'm re I'm fucking repping my son's hoodie and um, y'all don't want to see my hair. <laughs> ah, I love y'all. Have a good night.